Hello again. I'm just going to show you how we gesso a canvas and I'm also going to give you some reasons why. Um, I've had a lot of people emailing me saying that some of their paint is either not sticking properly or not covering properly on their canvas. And usually when I talk to them and find out by email, the reason being is because of the type of canvas they're using and the fact that they haven't used any gesso. There's a lot of pre-made canvases on the market now which come from China and India and different places like that. And they're sold as premium quality and premium quality primers on them, but they're not. And some of them have some waxes and silicons on the canvas. This is where you have trouble with your paint. The paint doesn't stick properly and it won't cover properly when there's waxes and silicons on there. So that's why you use your gesso. And that's why I'm recommending people do. I had one lady actually phone me for, in Australia who had just done a class with 20 people and all of them, their paint didn't stick properly and had trouble with every one. And she wanted to know why, what's the problem? And this is what the problem was. She didn't gesso anything and she relied on the credibility of that product. So I'll just give you a bit of a demonstration and show you the differences when you've got some gesso and when you haven't. This bit of canvas I've got here, when I stretch my own canvases, I buy the very large rolls because I use so much. And I buy it as premium quality. And I'll show you the difference when we apply some paint onto the side that's got gesso on and the side that hasn't. And it'll just give you a quick little indication as to the difference. So all I'm going to do, I'm just putting a bit of A2 on, just because that's the paint I've got handy. You can use any paint you like. And I'll just put a, a bit on this side and a little bit on this side. Now again, this side has no gesso, this side has gesso. Now, you really do find a big difference, especially when you do a wash. So I'm just going to put some water on my brush. That's the side with no gesso. It doesn't matter how thinly I put it on, I can water this right down. That's the difference. You can see this has silicons or waxes or something on that primer. They do it to roll the canvas so it doesn't stick, so they can manufacture it and get it out quicker. And I can just keep on going with this. And it takes forever to try and get anything that'll stick on there properly. And the longer I leave that, that'll start to bubble and that'll start to lift off. So that's a perfectly simple, easy explanation as to why gesso is important. And if you want an artwork which lasts long term, no way it's going to crack or lift off the base, that is what you call your grounds. And that grounds the artwork and the paint to it. It gives the a, proper tooth for that paint to grab into that canvas. And it's the same with when you're using your mediums, moulding paste, all those things, they all stick to the canvas when you've got your gesso. And that's the reason why I'm telling people they should do it. I've had too many people having problems. And for the sake of a couple of dollars, and it really is only a couple of dollars, I'll show you when I'm going to do a canvas now. Paint your canvas with your gesso and you're not going to have a failure like you've seen just there. So we'll go on now and I'll show you how to gesso a canvas. Well now I'm going to quickly show you how we put the gesso on the canvas. Gesso comes in different size containers. I've just got a 250ml container here or 8.4 fluid ounces. And we're just going to apply it onto this canvas. Now I've painted the canvas grey just so the gesso will stand out. But we can also treat it as if I'm painting over an existing artwork that I've done and I wasn't happy with. It's the same process. Before you paint another artwork, a good coat of gesso and it gives good tooth and grounding for your paint. So all we're going to do, it's just like painting anything that you might paint. Very basic. Now what I'm doing with the gesso, I'm just using a gesso brush. 
very cheap, buy them from your art stores. They're just a fairly coarse bristle brush. I use them for a lot of my painting, you'll see me using them all the time. And with the gesso, I'm just really forcing it down into that canvas, so I'm getting right down into the grain of the canvas. Now you can do a couple of coats if you like, depending on what you're doing. If you're really trying to cover a, a, um, another painting underneath. Now something that does happen with these gesso brushes, because they're cheap, a few bristles will come out of them every now and then. That's nothing unusual. I've just got one come out just there then. And I'll just show you the quick and easy way of getting those up. You don't have to use your fingers. Just get your brush and flick the edge of it like that. And you'll catch that bristle and it comes off the canvas for you. And it's an easy way of picking them up. And you just keep on painting. Now we're going to go right across this canvas, but as you can see, I'm really rubbing this paint in. It's a great primer and I'm getting it deep into that canvas because we want it to go right down into the valleys as well as the tops of the canvas. We don't want to just skim it over the top. And the older these gesso brushes get, they start to lose a few too many hairs, so that's when you know it's time to get a new one. And mine's losing a few here, so I've just got to pick that one off which is stubborn, there you go. And we just do the whole canvas in the same manner. And it really goes a long way. I would much prefer to do two coats than one big thick coat. That's how my preference is, because I can work this coat right in deep into the, the grains, and the second coat, I'll go the opposite direction and work it in as well and you know you've covered every part of that canvas. So you're not going to get any bubbling or anything like that, especially if you're doing washes and that kind of painting. Using paint thick, it usually goes across a lot easier, but when you're doing that thinner paint work and washes, that's when you can have real trouble without gesso, which I just showed you on that little demonstration. So it's just a matter of working that in. And this brush I'm using is an old brush and I've got bristles coming out one after another at the moment. So we just scoop those off. Like that. But you don't want them in your artwork. You want to make sure there's none in there when you've, you've gone over it. If you've got a better quality brush you can use that as well. But I use my brushes till they fall apart, it's just the way I am. I might actually go onto a bigger brush, I'll be here all day doing it with this brush. It's so small. I can't get it into there so easy, but we'll just get some onto that brush. That's alright, get some onto the canvas and do it that way. Spread that out. And as I say, really get it down into, into that canvas. And this part that I put on here, I'll spread that right across. So I've nearly finished this now. This is just the first coat. And because I'm, especially of course I've painted over the top of something else. If I want a nice, good, solid base to start a new artwork, I'll do two coats on this for sure. Now, it goes a long way. That's because I've spread it really well and got a good coverage. Picked up the odd hair along the way. But just make sure there's no bristles in your paint when you finish, because you don't want to find that when it's dried, because you can't get them off too easily then. And this is the, the liquid gesso primer that I'm using, so it's a bit easier to apply because it's more liquid. Um, this is a 120 by 90 centimetre canvas, or a 4 feet by 3 feet. I could do 4 coats from one of these small containers. So just spreading it and getting it right across. I'll let that dry, then I'll do the second coat, but I'll do it the opposite direction. 
And by doing that, you get in all of the grooves and crevices and little holes in amongst your canvas, and it evens the coat out as well. So you have a nice even coat across that canvas. So by doing that, you can use any acrylic paint on top of that. You can use oils as well. So any paint will work with this because it gives such a great tooth to the canvas. Things will just, once they're on there, they'll stay. You won't have that trouble with bubbling and all that thing with your washers. So for the sake of a few dollars to start with, what I do is if I've got half a dozen new canvases, I'll just spend an hour or so and just gesso all my canvases. So when I'm ready to start an artwork, I've got it pre-gessoed. So let that canvas dry completely before you start painting. So I hope that's just made it a little bit clear on how to do a gesso and why. And once you've got that ready, you can go away and do some happy painting.